Winter is in full swing across Montana's Yak Valley, throwing a wrench in the works of Tom Orr's successful trapping business. Trapping's been tough, man. Bunch of sets out and this kind of weather, this ain't good. His apprentice and partner, Sean McAfee, has come up empty for the last two weeks on their most productive line. Conditions uh, changing pretty quickly now, Tom. Yep, it's freezing up, isn't it? Yeah. And with sub-freezing temperatures soon to make accessing local ponds and rivers more difficult, Sean's seeking Tom's expert advice to salvage their season before it's too late. And there's that first set here. Ooh, well, there ain't nothing in it. Nothing in it. Nothing That's in kind it. of been the story of that trap right there. Well, let me slip down in. We could probably just pull it, though, huh? Yep, I think we, it's going to be frozen tomorrow. The rivers and all the waters are starting to freeze over. Once the water starts freezing, well, now the beaver can't step on the trap anymore because there's a layer of ice over the trap, so he can't even get on it, step on it. Let's do it then. Yeah. Let's pull it and find something new here. Trapping under the ice is possible, but it requires different equipment and a different strategy. Plus, there's no point in doubling down on an area that's not producing. The other set right in here, Mr. Tom. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Beaver pelts are one of Tom's biggest sellers, which means if they don't drum up a plan B soon, their whole season could be in jeopardy. I know a place we can go. OK. The biggest thing in our favor, Sean, is that it's kind of spring fed. Uh-huh. So it's always the last thing to freeze. OK. The only thing is, it's so far back in there, we have to spend the night. OK. There's a cabin, though. OK. Let's do it. All right. When you work with somebody like Tom, who has a kind of experience, you know, he's been trapping beaver longer than I've been alive. So it just helps to give you confirmation on, all right, it's, it's time to change what we're doing here. It's been years since Tom's made the 15-mile trek to this spot, and it's a gamble to try and run a line so deep in the woods. But since it was high yield in the past, he's hoping the journey will be worth the effort. It'll be an adventure. Yep. You stick with me, buddy. I'll, I'll keep you in lots of adventures. <laughs> Everybody the river there, eh? If the ice is strong enough to hold them. What do you think of that ice? Oh, don't look real thick right there. Some open water there, huh? Yep. Maybe you should walk out there first, huh? We're a long ways from home. This could be a pretty dangerous situation. Probing the ice assesses its thickness and strength, but it's impossible to be sure that it's frozen over evenly. I don't know about getting across anywhere else there. This looks like the spot right here, buddy. You don't want to go across on ice slow. All right. It gives it more chance to break out from underneath you. So big thing is get on it and run across that ice and shoot up that other bank on the other side to dry land. You ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. been bested by the ice and snow. She's stuck. I thought I had enough speed to make it up the other bank, but it was a little bit too steep. Almost made it to the top of the bank, and then that was it. I was stuck. The snow machine slammed into the bank at full speed. There one ski. And though it hasn't sustained any damage, it's not going anywhere. Oh, huh, that yes. sucker is packed in there. Yeah. How the hell are we going to get this out? Without a reverse gear, the only way to move the 500-pounder is with muscle power. Let's throw it right over on the brush. One, two, one, three. Oh. Oh. Okay. Why don't we try again without the trailer, and I'll just pull the trailer up there. For his second run at the hill, Tom's shedding the weight of the trailer and circling around again to build momentum. You made her. All right. Four miles deeper into the bush, Tom and Sean arrive at their destination with little daylight left to find out if they've beaten the freeze. These ponds are spring-fed, 
so the spring-fed water is warmer. This could be our last chance of being able to trap beaver before everything freezes. Looks promising, man. Yep. The river is still open water, and not only flowing, it's also teeming with signs of beaver activity. You gotta be a beaver around here somewhere. See all the sticks sticking up out of the water there? Sure do. Tom zeroes in on a beaver dam that should be a high traffic zone for the animals. Probably put in about three traps here. Okay. The first trap that I put in is a, a foothold trap. It's baited with beaver caster. It's a, a call lure to call them to that spot. And just put it right there and we'll have one set done. All right. Second set, I thought I'll put in the middle of the dam. Ooh. We're going to put the third trap oh, in okay, right in the right center. Right Got there. it. Conor Bear set. Yeah. All right. Conor Bear. It's a 10-inch square trap. Springs on both sides. The beaver swims through it, and it clamps down on them. It goes off kind of like a mouse trap does. They've already set three traps around a beaver dam. Now, further downstream, the Conor Bear traps could snare another catch as it travels up the river. You going to drive this one in? Yep. Go ahead. Their job done. After you, mister. Here we go. Tom and Sean head back to camp for the night in the nearby trapper's cabin. They will let their traps soak until morning. Home sweet home. Later. Though they've been lucky so far, if the traps fail to produce tonight, their prospects for a good haul this season will sink. We ought to be able to pick up a couple beavers in here. I think so. Pulling beaver in the dead of winter is especially difficult, and they can use all the head start they can get before this river freezes, too. We put out five traps, and normally you, with beaver, you usually catch about half. Yeah, so, half sets. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so we ought to catch two, maybe three. But the only thing we can hope for is that from that warm spring water, yeah. that that spring water keeps right. it from freezing. Hopefully, <laughs> tomorrow at this time, we'll be skinning. Hopefully. Yeah.